a lot of work to do. Chief Williams will be back in October and take, uh, take her office at that time. But we want to introduce her to you today, Chief Jerry Williams. All right. So it's often difficult to have people say so many nice things about you. So uh, I'm very fortunate and very honored. So I do have some prepared remarks and statements. So um, I am today um, humbled, honored, blessed, fortunate, um, just kind of a wow experience to have been selected to be the next police chief for the Phoenix Police Department. To Mayor Stanton and the entire city council, uh, thank you for um, believing in this city. Thank you for your commitment of service. I too share the same commitment that you all have in working together as a cohesive team with the community to make a difference for all of us. Mayor, on a personal note, thank you for that cell phone call yesterday and to Public Safety Subcommittee Co-Chair Nowakowski, thank you for their calls. They individually called me and that means a lot uh, when folks call. To the city manager, Ed Zucker, and the assistant city manager, Milton Dahoney, um, your decision was a challenging one, um, but I can attest and I can say being a participant in this process, it was thorough, it was transparent, and it demonstrated the will and the voice of this community. The meticulous nature of that process was one that demonstrated commitment to our community and really entrusted everything that you all spoke about, the employees mentioned, and kudos to the HR department too. You all put forward a phenomenally amazing process. And I don't see Assistant Chief Kurtenbach, but he and I spoke and we met today. Um, Mike and I have been friends. So throughout this process, we said to one another, going through the process, that we were friends before, we are going to be friends later. He is a consummate professional, and I look forward to working with Mike. To my good friend, Chief Del Yonner, um, I am so looking forward to working with you, alongside of you, um, as we work through the process of transition, and I look forward to you handing the baton, as it was said, handing the baton to me, um, and I look forward to continuing to make you proud. To the Phoenix community, wow, uh, I stand before you today ready to take hold of this agency in October. I will listen to your concerns. I will be your representative. I will represent you. I will represent us, uh, because I think that's what law enforcement is supposed to do. Um, and to Julian, I always have to give a special kudos to you and to Councilman Good also. Thank you so much for being here. But what Chief Yonner has done, he's done some amazing things in the time that he has been here. Under his watch, he has been responsible for de-escalation training. Under his watch, he has increased community connections. Under his watch, he has increased transparency, accountability, and the commitment to public service. That, along with the men and women, who are employed by the Phoenix Police Department. And we will continue to increase trust and continue our tradition of both protecting and serving our community. To all of you who are here, to those of you in the media audience, um, quite frankly, I look forward to your prayers. I look forward to your thoughts. I look forward to your voice. I look forward to your ideas as we move forward to make our community a better place. And last but not least, you don't see tall people standing next to me. Um, that is because my family is in Las Vegas, so our oldest son is playing in the Summer League, so go Phoenix Suns at 3.30, start thinking happy thoughts <laughs> for the Suns. Um, so I would be remiss in not thanking my family. I can't stand where I'm standing today without the love and support of those three men, Cody, Allen, and Big Cody. To my extended family, I look out in the audience, some of you are family and extended family. To my faith-based community, um, thank you. It has been said, to whom much is given, much is required. Well. I've been given tremendous opportunities. I've been given the opportunities to lead. I've been given opportunities to manage. I've been given opportunities to show accountability, transparency, and trustworthiness, not just to the community, but those to whom I work with at the Phoenix Police Department. I have been blessed with opportunities to work alongside with many of you in the community and many of those of you who sit on council when things are going well, as well as when things are not going well. It is now required for me to take the culmination of that knowledge and leadership and experience and work alongside with this community, the department, and the city to consistently demonstrate just how progressive the Phoenix Police Department has become and will be in the future. This will be one of the greatest challenges of my professional career. However, I am quite certain that together 
we can continue to work through our differences with the goal of finding many more similarities and continue to stand for truth and justice in policing. I'm truly honored, I'm truly humbled. Thank you very much.